Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, U77 in Silent Hunter 5. Thank you for all your support. As always, show support for the series and hit that thumbs up if you want to see some more. We're just coming into port now. we got a cruiser there. Uh, and a uh, little cargo ship next to it. Oh, we've got another sh uh, warship there. Nice, looks like a military base. Um, yeah, we're just, we're just coming into the port of Port Blair. Because I've raided numerous times. So last time, if you remember, we did the port raid over here. Uh, I came out here, round here, trying to get a resupply. Would not grant my permission. So I've come over to this port thinking if we come over to this nearest port, we should be able to get some fuel and some uh, torpedoes at least. And then we can go back out there. Our damage isn't that bad. It's got a bit of um, you know, the bulk chem integrity water bulkheads. We're still working on that. Um, integrity there, bits and pieces here, but nothing, yeah, we can probably get most of that repaired, and it's, it's not in, in too bad a condition anyway, so that's the plan, we'd, we've come over here as, a near, ooh, as the nearest port uh, to try and get a uh, resupply. Okay, once you spot them once, just keep track of them, you don't have to keep reporting them, it's fine. Nice. Oh, it's something. Oh, yeah. The cargo ship over there as well. Right. Almost there. Okay. We've gone all stop. I'll destroy there. Um, we're not getting any notification to, uh, to resupply, which is a disappointment to say the least. Oh, they're just destroyers. I thought they were cruisers looking at the turrets. But no, they're just destroyers. Um,. Right, this is a bit awkward then. We've come all the way over here. Escort sighted bearing three zero five. And normally we have a little pop up here saying that we can resupply, but we um do not appear to be have it right. Okay. Let's reverse then. Because I don't think we're going to turn sharp enough to uh, avoid hitting the <laughs> the key side wall. Well, that's disappointing. Our allies are not allowing us to resupply. Thanks, guys. That's a real disappointment. Okay, then. Um, as we start backing up, then. Let's just go down. Maybe we were close to... Uh, I suppose we could go back to Singapore, but... Honestly? Still denying our resupply. No one wants to supply us. Right, okay. We might have to go back to a home port, then. We still have a couple of torpedoes. Um, well, if that ever comes in, that's 75% done. You got the rear shots, but yeah. Uh, I suppose that we could come in here, but honestly, it should be triggering here. I'm not going to bother because the steer getting around that tight spot is going to be an absolute nightmare. So I'm not going to bother. Um, right, okay. So that's not Port Blair is not a option. Um, we could try. Um, Penang. If not, it's all the way down here to Singapore. Oh my goodness. All I want is some torpedoes and some fuel. Is it too much to ask? Apparently, it is. Right. Bear with us. Got a lot more travelling to do. See, if this was the forward resupply zone, that would be ace. Got one up here as well. Yang on. But again, that's up a tight alley. I'm not going to go all the way up there. So I don't think these ports are uh, speed set up to resupply us, sadly. Right, okay. We're going to spin around then, and uh, we'll sort of heading out of dodge and um, ah, get a resupply somewhere. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, coming into the welcoming lights of Penang Harbour. Um, cargo and destroyer there. Can't 
can't make out what that is. Or is it just some sort of weird buildings on the side of the quay? Which are kind of making, it's throwing some odd shapes. Ooh, we've got a large cruiser there. And some other ships here, right. So here we go. Let's have a look. Oh yes, yes, bless you Panang. We can, we, we can refit, we can't end patrol, but we can refit here. Ah, oh, refit complete, wonderful. Full tank of fuel, torpedoes being loaded, happy days, happy days. Now, in the meantime, um, we've been travelling. only just noticed this, um, we can probably pass Penang now. So we're coming here, so we didn't quite come down to Singapore. But, um, look, we've got Australia isolation has popped up. So we've been doing the um, Riches of India. We've got the monsoon boats over here. The monsoon boats. But here we go. Uh, this is going till April the 20th, 1944. So uh, got a fair few months on it to run. Uh, British having failed to protect Singapore is trying to re reassure Australia. Attacks and shipping in Australian waters will place strain on any trust. And that still remains. Uh, convoy crossing the Indian Ocean form uh, a free mantle and are considered high priority targets. Thank you. Australia's central ships, or Australia's coastal ships, should also be targeted. Okay, so that literally is anywhere around Australia. Um, they've got air bases here with. Oh, okay, so that that's unprotected. Do you have any? They have air bases here, by the looks of it. How far does that protect? Does it give us a range? If I can click on that and click on that. No, it doesn't. That's a shame. Let's see if there's any blind spots for the aircraft. Okay, well we're up here. Do you think we've sunk enough tonnage in India? Maybe we should head down to Australian waters and we've got lots of more ports here. What I'll probably do is come out here. It's probably going to be easier to traverse out here and come down this way. Bit of an air patrol there, but if we hug the coastline and then we'll come in here. We'll stop patrolling off um, Australia's coast. So we've got a port there of Darwin and down here we've got um, oh Fremantle. Oh, that's what they're talking about, the, um, the ships from Fremantle. Okay, we'll come down and give this port um, a bit of problems. What have they got in this air airfield? Oh, there we go. I've got the uh, range up now. Um, oh, they've got all the all the nasties. Liberators, Sunderlands, Wellingtons, Beauforts, Halifaxes, all the heavies. Brilliant. Wonderful. Right, but I think Australia, Australia, la la la, we're going to head that way. So, a lot more driving, or... <laughs> driving sailing still to do but um, we're going to give the Indian waters a little bit of a respite and we're going to come down here and see what we can do against the Australian shipping right lots of area to move and transverse I will see you in a long time but I will see you in a bit see you in a second Hi everyone, welcome back. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful turquoise sea. Um, I just got a message in, let's have a quick look at what that is. Um, we regret to inform you that U-533 has been sunk by enemy aircraft. One survivor. Oh my god. That's all I've had. All I've had on this journey is, uh, we regret to inform you, another U-boat has been destroyed. But we're here, off the coast of Australia, finally. Oh, it's taken forever. We're now just about to be in our patrol zone, which is grand. So I'm going to kind of hug this area around here. And this is the uh, the Fremantle port that they were talking about. Um, and that's obviously the, the ships from... The, what, did it, what did it say about Fremantle? Exactly. Convoys were leaving here. Um, yeah, convoys crossing the Indian Ocean form at Fremantle and are considered high priority. So if we kind of hang off the uh, the coast here... Oh, free! Oh, that's an interesting port. Look at that. And their base just up there. Maybe we could always sneak in there and do another port raid. 
if they're forming up. But um, yeah, we're going to head for a bit further down. Just to let you know that we are making progress. We're here now in Australia. Crikey. If, uh, I don't think we'd make it across the Pacific. But um, not unless Hawaii want to refuel us, which I doubt. <laughs> There's a bit of tension in the air between us. Um, yeah, okay. We'll... Um, Australia's over there somewhere, but uh, yeah, we're, we're in our patrol zone now, finally. Um, fuel, we've almost used, how much fuel do we use? Oh, we used a quarter of a tank to get here, so we got to leave at least at, with 25% fuel to make it back. Um, okay, okay, so we've got half a tank to, uh, to burn hunting convoys then, so it's not too bad, and we've got full torpedoes. This one almost ready to, if we fire a torpedo, that's almost ready to um, bring inside. Hurrah! It's quite good. But anyway, we're going to press on because obviously we don't want to just sit here the entire episode just travelling around. We want to get some action in. So, um, yep, I'm going to press on and I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, we got smoke on the horizon. So we've descended to periscope depth. There we are. Smoke on the horizon. Target marked. It's a merchant on her own, which is all grand. Um, let's get her identified. I can't see from this range, but thankfully it's a Cargo Liberty ship. Ooh, nice. Speed we don't know. She's a bit out of our view at the moment, but there she is. That We've been plotting her. I've set a little ambush roughly for where she'll be, which is quite good. So what we can do... Start doing some of the basics, like, um, can I move this? I can't move this, can I? Apparently not. Okay, fine. I thought I could move the watch. Right, so we'll wait for a minute, do a, a time check that way, and then we get a, a quick time check out of the way. Just to, uh, while that's doing that, let's bring you out. And you'll see where we are. So we're just coming down here to Fremantle. Um, so pretty much, you know, about five minutes after you last left us. We haven't done too much. We haven't gone too far. And we've already found our first contact. Unfortunately, we don't have the deck gun. So it's all torpedoes these days. Such is the way of the world, which is fine. I might have deck guns anyway, but... You always... The days of... Um, that gun action are uh, are over, it would seem. All right, ten seconds. There, lovely. Now that measures. There's 250 there, so it's 200 miles, 200 meters, um, which is six and a half knots. 185 meters is six knots. 216, seven knots. So if we fire seven knots, I suppose that should be uh, about right. Uh, got a bit of a distance yet. Yeah. Uh, she is a little bit. past my predicted course, which is okay. So she's going to be about there. So she's going to be about 550 meters. So we'll start putting initial um, information in here. You can always, we'll always update it in a second. So if we stick that to seven knots for the moment, um, and we'll work, we'll let her come a little bit closer. And, um, and then recalculate just for, um, just to be sure. We've got electric torpedo in tube one. Which we may well... It's a lovely calm day. So we may well fire her uh, magnetic under the hull. And see if that can do a one torpedo hit. If not, torpedo tube two will set up as a fast steam. And we'll um, keep her on standby. But we'll just wait for her to come on. Okay, she's nearing us now. Let's have a quick look whilst we've got... Um, departing Guant Guantanamo for New York City. Not interested. Good. Right. Let's have a look then. Oop, there she is. 
Oh yeah, nice big liberty. Tracking new target. It says tracking new target, but you're not. Oh, there you are. It wasn't locking. It wasn't actually tracking it very well. Um, okay, let's just another quick calculation for range because we might have drifted. Yeah, I think it's more like 500 meters now. So let's just notch that down one. I'll do a um, so angle about when she gets to there. Will be twenty seven. Uh, yeah, we're on this side. Let's get that down to twenty twenty eight. Twenty seven. Yeah, let's wait for her to get that. Uh, she does seem to have a deck gun on the rear and on the front, it would seem, so yeah. Deckham would have would have been out of that, out of the question anyway. And I think she's flying the free French flag. Free French flag, that's difficult to say. Well, it's not difficult, but you know, you can stumble over it for sure. Right, so if we get torpedo tube one, that's the electric, we'll shove that under the stick that to magnetic. Magnetic detonator switched on. Magnetic detonator switched on. Have on slow. Torpedo tube two. This can be a fast impact one, and that can go straight into the hull. Yeah, nice. Closing tube two. Flooding tube one. Get one and two flooded then. Oh, one and two Flooding flooded. There we go. Two. Okay, ready to set that to twenty-seven approximately now. Good. Keep this low so they don't see us. She's quite high in the water, isn't she? Well, I suppose that is the waterline, so she's probably not overloaded, but she's got something on her. Right, a little bit of time to wait while she gets into position. Okay, uh, she's opened up. Because you can hear them whistling, they've spotted us. They've spotted the, uh, the periscope, which I feared they might. Yeah, they've got like um, anti-aircraft guns they've trained down on us. They've got a deck gun there. Actually, those rig, which I thought was an anti appear to be just anti-aircraft guns. A torpedo's heading. Got her. She's gone. There we go. Okay, stand down on torpedo tube two. So, an electric torpedo. Whew, they spotted us. They started to turn away, but we got the shot away just in time. And that is a Liberty Cargo knocked out. Nice. Nice. Um, Liberty Cargo for 7,173 tonnes. Takes our total of six ships now. Uh, 20,000 merchant... Uh, no, 20,000 warship tonnage. I beg your pardon, thanks to those two heavy cruisers. And 31,531 tonnes of merchant tonnage for a total of uh, 51,531. Right, she's gone. Right. Let's get moving. Surface the boat. Periscope down. Nice. Right, let's get a 
another electric torpedo loaded into there. We'll pop up and we'll bring this one in. It's ready to come in. Brilliant. Right. Our first catch of the day. Excellent. Let's uh, clear up the map. And then we're going to press on back down to uh, Fremantle. And um, let's see what joys we can find down there. If we spot anything else, um, we'll, uh, we'll crack on. Do we get any damage from that, by the way? They were firing at us. I don't think so. Um, no, same old damage we had, so that's fine. Good. Okay, fantastic. We're going to pile it on then and hopefully find something um, in the not-too-distant future which we can have another go at. I'll see you in a few. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. As you can see, weather's turning. A bit cloudy out, a bit choppy on the water. But we've already found, he says, desperately searching with the binoculars. There, another ship. Fantastico. So we've spotted it here. We've just put a marker on there to see which way she's going. Just so we, we've sort of plotted a, a rough intercept course up here. Um, that's where we shut, sunk the other ship. We literally came away from here and then we got, um, as you see, you get these little reports and we thought oh there was over here like that one we saw we so we came this way thinking we'd run into them and indeed we have which is grand so um brilliant let's just pop another marker down here brilliant that's not for speed that's just so i can roughly plot his predicted course where are we all right, let's get that through that one, through that one. I say this is very rough. And then you kind of zoom in to see if no, see, see, it's not even on that course. It needs to be moved up a little bit, like that. Still not good enough. Still a bit more. There are better ways to do this, but as I say, this is my lazy way of doing it. Right, so we're going to rough intercept point. Let's come, let's come here then. Uh, let's mark out. For reference only, a uh, thousand meter. There, real. Um, usually, I come to there and switch the engines off, and we drift to about five hundred meters towards them. Grant, right? We're gonna uh, mosey on then, try and do this intercept point, and uh, see what else is happening. Good news: that external reserve was able to be brought inside. Huzzah! <laughs> it was in India when we asked that to be brought in. We're now in Australia. <laughs> Incredible. But we, uh, we we loaded the the electric torpedo reserve we had into tube one and we brought that one into there. Brilliant. So we're going to set up a little bit closer and I'll bring you back in a minute. Depth one zero meters. Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see that predicted course wasn't that accurate after all. Now we're just doing his speed check now. Now, excellent. Um, so we can readjust that. So he's doing two hundred meters. Two hundred meters we know is six to seven knots. Um, so let's just grab that and move that where the ship is now. Like that, brilliant. Uh, and then we can readdress this. So there we are. We're probably going to be about seven hundred meters away. Cool. Right. Where's the, where, there he is. There he is. Target marked. Identification, please. It's a medium steam merchant bearing seven seven degrees. Right. Speed. We're going to leave it seven knots. That's pretty much you know okay. Um. He should be going along that. But he's running parallel to that, which is okay. That's fine. You can get a reasonably accurate measurement from that. So he's doing 750 meters range. Wonderful. Angle bow is uh, he's got some way to go, but we'll calculate it at the end of this uh, 
of the marker there, just to give us a bearing. Reference point. Jibba -jibba -boo. 42 degrees. So we are, yeah, we are on this side. 42. There we go. And I'll just bring that up so we can wait till he uh, gets to it and we'll set that. A little bit of waiting to do. Okay, here he is now. I hope you can see that. Um, it's coming up to the, uh, the the marker now. You got. Oh. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think. He, oh. I think he's got an Australian flag on. Let's set that. 43 degrees. 44. Let's make that down to 42 all of a sudden. There we go. Perfect. Bing, bing, bing. Good. So he's quite shallow draft. A six, about a six meter draft. Um, and it is a bit choppy, isn't it? So we're going to go to Peter Tube 2, which is a steam. Probably shouldn't. I should. Uh, let's go medium speed impact, and we're just going to pop it on the surface. And we'll do tube three. We'll do exactly the same. Actually, we'll set that one to fast. Uh, I don't want to use the magnetic in this weather. It's just, it's oh, you know, it's just too much to go wrong. Um. So yeah, good. Right. Just we'll wait for him to um move a little bit more. I think he's got a. A front deck gun, possibly a rear deck gun as well. Difficult to see in this in this light. I've got the um, periscope extended as as much as it will go, um, because obviously the the waves are very choppy. Oh look, he's he's being thrown all over the place. So maybe we can just um. Oops, one more. Sorry. Put that right on the surface. Right, prepare to fire. Tube one. Oh, sorry. Tube two. I'm going to go early. That'll give us a little bit more time if we do miss. Yeah, there's not, nothing I can do about that. I'm afraid. It's very dark. It's very, very, very choppy waters indeed. Torpedoes on course though. Setting to strike right in the um, just before the bridge. If we get to see it, who knows? Boom! Good hit. Trevor. Okay. So we two, three. Fire. Two. Finish her off. She is turning slightly, but it should still be a reasonably good angle. Okay, that torpedo did miss. I didn't calculate that. I didn't think she'd slow down so quickly. But apparently she had. So um, yeah, it was uh, just a, just ahead of her, which is a bit of a bit of a pain. But never mind. These things are sent to try us. I think that was a pretty good hit. Anyway, where is she? I've lost her. There she is. Um, she seems to be low at the front. Anyway, so I'm not going to fire again. Going to let these torpedoes get reloaded, and we're just going to keep an eye on her. I think she may. She may uh, succumb to the damage anyway. Oh, yeah, I should have slowed the speed down on that one. The angle, everything was fine. It's just the torpedo was going a little bit fast. I forgot I set it to fast rather than medium. Yeah, you can see the uh, propellers at the rear are starting to lift out of the water as the nose is going uh, lower and lower. So I think this is just a matter of time.
Okay, and she slips beneath the waves as well. Good stuff. Right, let's have a look. What was she? She was um, the medium steam merchant for 5,328 tonnes. So that's our seventh ship sunk. Bringing our merchant tonnage up to 36,859, I beg your pardon. And a uh, total tonnage of 56,859, thanks to the 20,000 warship tonnes. Wow. Brill. Great. Okay, apart from that sloppy second torpedo shot, that's uh, not too bad at all. Quite happy Quite happy with my day's work. We'll just surface the boat now. Periscope down. All clear. Lovely jubbly. And I think there's potentially further ships over here. So rather, before we go down to Free Mantle, or whatever the place is called, we'll, we're going to head um, east for a little bit more. See if we can find anything uh, over there and... Uh, that's it's, oh my goodness, why wouldn't this I can't delete for heaven's sake? Uh, it seems to be quite a profitable area, so we're gonna start, um, continue to head this way. It seems to be the line, this is the, the kind of like a shipping line. This is the ship we sunk previously, we just sunk one here, and potentially contacts over here. So, definitely seem to be following the coastline up, maybe. I've got one up there potentially. So, uh, yeah, lots of um, potential targets around here. We might as well try and, um, fill our logbook as we can uh, but we'll leave it there this time thank you ever so much for joining us again on Sun Hunter 5 in the crew of U77 hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that thumbs up it really does help the channel and the series grow and if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe and tickling the bell right from the crew of U77 take care especially during these troubled times and I will see you next week bye bye